I'm Erin Hoag. I'm an action sports commercial photographer. This winter, I teamed up with Sony and Robin Van Jin to shoot photos for her project at Fabric. This is a behind the scenes look at what it took to get those photos. This is Photo Adventures, snowed in. So this winter, I was invited to go on a camping trip with professional snowboarder Robin Van Jid. Now the Valhalla mountain range is one of the most breathtaking, majestic mountain ranges in British Columbia. And we would be camping for five days in the middle of nowhere. So I met artist and guide, Jessa Gilbert, environmentalist snowboarder, Irie Smith, and 17 year old up and coming snowboarder, Estelle Pensiero, as well as our guide, Joel. In the front nose of the helicopter, there's a fire axe and a survival kit. We have so much stuff. Irene and Estelle have never done anything like this. Robin had done a lot of research, so she kind of had an idea of where we wanted to camp. As we were sort of looking out the window, we were trying to decide exactly where the best spot would be. Because we would be walking everywhere, we wanted to be really close to those areas. So Heli drops us off. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> you made it. <laughs> we start off the trip by doing a quick avalanche refresher. I'm gonna stomp this out so still has no idea where it is. And she's gonna learn how to use her beacon. <laughs> All right, what do you see? We wanna make sure that everybody knows how to use their transceivers. So if anything does go wrong, it's up to the five of us to figure out how to save each other. She found it, success! And he's alive. Rescue practice, now it's Aaron's turn. First day of the trip, we woke up to full <laughs> snowstorm. Oh, no, you know what I mean, and I do my little turn on the mountain. Yeah, on the mountain, <laughs> on the mountain. Yeah, oh. I do my little turn. So we're gonna ride this face, and there's some stuff we can do like right here. Do you see that dead tree that's on top of the ridge there? Below that is another little cornice. I'm just gonna boogie up there. I'm next to this tree so that I don't slide down there. And I'm shooting on the A9 fisheye so I can hopefully get underneath and get a little bit of our board. All right, Aaron's ready. Yeah! We went from dumping snow at the bottom to beautiful bluebird a matter of like five minutes, these mountains. <laughs> so the second day we knew was gonna be a massive day. There were these amazing shoots across the valley. And I have about 35 pounds on my back. When you're going uphill, that makes a big difference. Hey Jessa, we're ready when you are. Oh, shit. Oh, she hit that tree pretty hard. And the rock at the top. Oh, shoot, look at that rock. Joel, is she okay? Hey, Nidia. I'm okay. Oh. That rock came out of nowhere. Oh, so gnarly. And she was almost hanging onto it too. Then it just like sent her. That's crazy. Yeah, that was a good save. Here the snowcock is, uh, has taken a turn for the worse. Realistically, the prudent thing to do would be for us to turn around here. It was really heartbreaking because when they got to the bottom of the chutes and dug a pit, the snow conditions were just not okay. Just letting you guys know we're gonna regroup and find a solution for riding down. We are thinking we'll ride straight down from where we're staying into the lower gully gular feature uh, one at a time. How does that sound for you guys? That sounds awesome. So I'm just gonna use the A9 with the 100 to 400 and I'm gonna use it all the way at 400. So you guys can stay in the sun as much as possible. That would be amazing. Peak right there, that little thing there. I want to ride that stuff, but everything over there looks pretty scary. But once we get closer to it, it might be less steep. The more you're swirling around, the less cool it's gonna look. You want flow. When we were walking, there was this beautiful face. It was in perfect light. I was looking at right. Can you see that? 
So the riders hiked up to the top, beautiful sunlight, and then they each picked a line and rode it. party line down this beautiful flank in front of me and I'm shooting with the A9 on a 24 to 70. So on the last day of the trip, we decided to wake up before sunrise. A couple photos that I knew that I wanted to get and so I rushed out before everybody else to set up. And I'm off to get that morning light. The sun is just coming up over the ridge. It's stunning. Such beautiful morning though. I got to see firsthand Irie and Estelle be mentored by Robin and Jessa. The amount that they progressed from the beginning of the trip to the end of the trip was so amazing to watch. 